Across Europe and North America, there is an insect that starkly illustrates the process by which insect families choose their queen. These are paper wasps, and they live in family groups of no more than 80 individuals. The small size of the group makes them easy to observe and shows that the queen is constantly under threat from her daughters. The queen's role is to lay eggs and keep her unruly daughters in line. The daughters tend the young, their newly born sisters. They clean them and water them. They even chop up their food for them. And feed it to them piece by piece. And the queen constantly bullies her daughters to make sure they do their job. But in this small family, the role of queen is not fixed. And deciding who is queen is settled by aggression. These tests of strength have a purpose. The strongest will become the queen. To avoid unnecessary fights, the wasps have evolved the ability to recognize each other by smell. Some have even learned to recognize faces, much like humans. This enables them to constantly keep track of who has beaten whom, maintaining this uneasy truce. But the system only works because the family is so small. Just a few more wasps, and the queen would no longer be able to fight them all. Bumblebees have found a way around this obstacle. Instead of dominating by brute force, their queen controls her family with chemicals. Bumblebees are able to live in larger families of about 300. The majority are workers who collect nectar and pollen to feed the rest of the family. And this is their queen. Her swollen abdomen is full of eggs. She alone lays. So she is the mother of every bee in the family. To prevent competition from her offspring, she releases a chemical, a pheromone, that renders the workers unwilling to lay eggs themselves. Unable to produce larvae, these offspring become the queen's workers, looking after the day-to-day -day running of their home. They clean up the debris at the bottom of the nest, and build and repair the nest walls using wax. They fill and look after special food stores called honey pots. They use this honey to feed new larvae produced by their queen, their own sisters. And if any larvae aren't perfect, the workers will kill them.
the Queen's chemical control of her family is total. But by the standard of some insect families, this one is small. Bumblebees are found all over the Northern Hemisphere. There are about 200 different species of them. But pheromones released by the queen can only control a certain number of individuals, 100 or so at the most. To organize bigger colonies, workers need to be able to send messages to one another. It's no longer about control, it's about communication. Oh. 